This is the devotional for the month of May 2022, and it is titled, I am innocent of this man's blood. It is taken from the scripture found in Matthew chapter 27 and verse 24. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Who would be guilty of having an innocent man put to death? That was the problem of conscience Pilate was having. After looking into the charges against Jesus, Pilate wanted to release him. He even offered to release Jesus after administering some type of punishment. Luke chapter 23 and verse 16. That was not good enough for the Jews. They wanted Jesus put to death. Pilate's wife had warned him to have nothing to do with that righteous man. She was speaking of Jesus, the subject of her troubled dreams. Having found no guilt in Jesus and being warned by his wife, Pilate washed his hands before the people. This was to symbolize he was innocent of the blood of Christ. The Jews answered by accepting the guilt of killing Jesus. Jesus was then delivered to be crucified. Were the Jews held responsible for killing Jesus? Peter said they were in Acts chapter 2 and verse 23 and verse 36. Once those who gathered in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost heard this, the scripture says they were cut to the heart, Acts chapter 2 and verse 37. This means they were greatly alarmed and grieved to know they were guilty of killing the Messiah. They wanted to know what they could do. Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38 through 39. The scripture goes on to state that 3,000 souls gladly received his word and was baptized. What are those who chose not to be baptized? Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26 through 31 answers this question. For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the evidence of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by the one who has trampled underfoot the Son of God and has profaned the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and has outraged the Spirit of grace? For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Let us pray. Our glorious Father in heaven, Lord, we are thankful for the salvation brought to us by your Son. We have learned through his word that we should not live according to our own desires, but by your will. Lord, help us to be obedient as the 3,000 in Acts chapter 2 by being baptized for the remissions of sins. It is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.